Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are doing amazing on this Wednesday, on this hump day. Um, Gemini, take what um, resonates, leave what doesn't, flip it if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you and picking up on. You got a crazy person in your energy. I don't know who this person is. I feel like I just heard the word dumped. You dumped this person. Or well, you might be considering dumping them. I don't know. But there's somebody in your energy. Yeah, you dumped them because we have the devil here in reverse. It could be a Capricorn. You severed ties with somebody that was very toxic. Mm -hmm. You chose a new relationship and this person is pissed about it. They're hostile. It could be an Aquarius. Hostility is number 26. Hmm. Yeah, you want a new direction that reduces to an eight. And that talks about new perspective moving on. You moved on from this person and they're not happy about it. Some of you are married or you're getting married or you're in a connection with someone else. A happy connection with someone else. But um, we have you coming through as the thinking woman. Number 47 reduces to 11, which reduces to a two, which again is a choice you made. You chose your twin flame. You could be with an Aries. Um. But this is Libra, Christ, Gemini energy, the thinking woman. I get Libra, the queen of um, swords. She might even have a sword in her hand. I can't. Oh, no, that's a book. But your knowledge is your sword. That That is what your sword is, your communication. Okay, yeah, you lost feelings for this person, whoever they are. They could be younger than you. This is a person born, you know, Generation Z, late 90s. Mm. this person is plotting something against you it says they're praying on your downfall they're jealous they're extremely jealous it could be a leo and then this is it it says here that the um the time is a factor something is coming in fast this person is in competition this is a cancer a leo aries or sagittarius for some of you it could be any of these signs it could be any sign Let's get into what's going on here. You you, you, mm. you can work with this person or you used to work with this person. We have co-worker blues. So some of y'all just going through some stuff at work. What is this about? A tarot reading. <clears throat> this person could be getting readings done on you. This person is obsessed with seeing what's going on in your life and they don't know. So they could be looking at a lot of tarot so they could um, get an inside view of what's going on with you. Someone is trying to find the right words to say to you. It's been a while and they're guarded, but ready to finally make a move. This person is watching you. Look at how this, look at how this person is watching this couple with this sword. They, they, want, they want war. They got an issue. This could be a, um, an air sign. This could be them that's the thinking woman. They could be plotting y'all. Watch yourself. Give thanks even when you're between blessings. Okay, so you might feel very stressed out right now. I told y'all, if somebody know where y'all live, this four of wands is the home card. It talks about an actual home. And I told y'all, this got this hostilities is headed right towards that home. If somebody know where you live, you're going to have to get a security system, a guard dog. You're going to have to put some um, sage all over the house. Just just plaster the house and sage, okay? Just, just put it on the outside of the house. Put it on the steps, <laughs> Because this person is crazy, okay? What's this third? Show me this third party. Show me third party. It says third parties. They could have been a cheater. I told y'all yesterday, y'all ex is crazy and uses people. But you could have found new love and they can't take it. We have fixer. You try to fix this person. You try to work with them even though they were crazy. They, they could have put you in third party situations. Cavalier. But they didn't care. Yeah, you ended the cycle with them. Scorpio, the death card. You ended things with them. You try to fix it. You try to deal with their third parties. You try to deal with their mess. You could have had deep feelings at one time for this person, but I don't think you do now because you have deep feelings now for someone new. What's deep feelings? This could be about the new person. Scapegoat. Yeah, this person is controlling that you were dealing with. You did have feelings for them once upon a time, but not anymore. Once upon a time, you used to love them. You used to care about them, but no more. You have deep feelings for someone else now. You're giving this person the silent treatment, and they cannot stand it. They feel like you cut them off to be with this. Look at this new partnership. Mm -hmm. They feel like you cut them off for this new person, and they don't like that crap at all. 
And I'm not trying to take this lightly, y'all, because I, I, I need to get off of YouTube watching these um these crime stories on YouTube because there's some crazy people out here and you just be surprised. What's the adaptable? Spirit wants you to be adaptable. Let me read this card. And this is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles talks about having fun, being at ease. And this might be the fact that you just life just too easy for you now. Like I said, he is looking at that couple like, I don't like that they're having such a funky good time because they are having a good time. This card is about celebrations, fun, weddings, um, get-togethers. It says two of, uh, the Two of Pentacles is ease, adaptation, and choices and stop juggling, okay? So be flexible. Open to change. Be okay with the universe. Deliver, delivering your desire in divine time in ways that differ from your expectations. So look, they need to move on. That's for them. They need to move on. They need to accept that this didn't work and they got to go with the flow and be adaptable to the change. You know, that is life because you can't control somebody else falling out of love with you and falling in love with someone else. Negligent. <laughs> they were negligent. They didn't even treat you right when they had you. But now they just want you back because they see you with somebody else. That's how this that's how this game is played. You're disgusted by this person. We have Renaissance woman. This is the, the um, nine of pentacles. This talks about being independent, self-sufficient. Okay. Some of you, the new person you're dealing with is very smart, very much a, a, a self-made um, person. Stable in their own right. Not somebody that's looking to milk you for your money or whatever. Like this past person. I told y'all yesterday they were a gold digger. So you could be with a Virgo now. Show me um this person. Three of Wands. <laughs> Growth and expansion for you. Turning your back on this person moving forward. You're moving towards something that has the potential to really grow into something special. This is you patiently waiting to a swords here. Yeah, blocking this past person out. Show me this tarot reading. What is this? Wow, you got the Page of Cups in reverse. Now, you know the Page of Cups is an intuitive. He's a psychic. This could be a younger water sign. Somebody's intuition is blocked. This is why they need to use tarot. It could be a younger Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, y'all. This person is very immature, very needy, very clingy, very jealous. Yep. And they're getting tarot because they can't they can't read you. Their intuition is blocked. What's third party? This third party is someone you could have been married to. We got Pisces energy here, or they're just trying to impose on this wedding, this marriage, this new family dynamic. That should happily ever after. Oh, yes. Somebody is pissed because you are happy in a new relationship. This person is crazy. Ten of Swords and Reverse. You overcame the heartbreak, Gemini. That's your energy. Ace of Pentacles. You overcame the heartbreak and started something new. Something stable with someone new. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. You could have left another Gemini. They did it to themselves, though. Look at this. This is all self-imposed. That person back there didn't do it. This person sabotaged themselves. And this is the reason why you can move right on past it. They were trying to do spell work on you and went right back to them. They got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Look at them wanting to argue with you. This person is a follower. They don't have any direction. They're very foolish. They're very foolish. They're going to make a mistake. They're going to slip up and do something stupid. They're negligent in that Knight of Swords in reverse. We got the Two of Pentacles coming out again, clarifying the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're finding balance in this new relationship. Could be with a Capricorn. One more card. Oh, two more came out. I'll take both of them. You have the Two of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Wands. Some of you broke up with someone for being a player. They were a cheater. They had third parties. I already said it. Yeah, now you have something more solid and stable. Could be with the Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, strong Virgo. We got the um, High Priestess and we got the Six of Cups in reverse. You moved on. And some of you made your moves in silence. And you left this person behind to start something new. That's it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.